fish. We're into a fish here, folks. I have one on. Oh, I have one on. First open water fish of the year. Lake trout. Oh yeah. Nice little laker, come on. Yes. First open water fish, well, freshwater fish of the year right there. Oh, how good does that feel? I was starting to lose a bit of hope because the weather's cold, the water's cold, my hands are cold, everything's cold, but I just all of a sudden felt a hit and I was on. Not a massive one by any means, but very nice fish to start off the open water season. And there's a snowstorm over there that I can see in the distance. Oh, wonderful, just on the five inch white power grub. The water's 39 degrees. This fish came in 15 feet of water. Hopefully it'll be a good couple days. So a bit of an update for you guys. It's the second day here at the cottage. I've been here for about 24 hours now. Caught one fish the whole entire time. Haven't seen any other fish, haven't missed any other fish. I'm so thankful to have caught that fish because that was my first real open water fish of the season. Beautiful little lake trout, nothing huge, but nice little eater sized fish. So we kept it and we're gonna have it with dinner tonight. And uh, tomorrow the weather's gonna finally change after five days, it's been windy with sun and clouds and snow squalls and all sorts of things but tomorrow is going to be cloudy and calm with a bit of rain so maybe that'll turn the fish on the water's still 39 degrees in when the sun's up and it's it was 36 this morning so it's still pretty cold hopefully the fish start to move up with the warming water soon but we'll just have to see what happens the one fish that i did catch was on this white mr twister type bait in 15 feet of water i've been casting well, the one spot over there, I've been casting, letting it sink to the bottom, and then reel in for a few seconds and let it pause. And they like to hit it right after you pause and then you start reeling in again. That's when I just felt the fish. And that's how I caught them last year during the May long weekend, but it's still pretty early. It was a lot warmer at that time. And it seems no matter what time of year here, they like white plastics of some kind. This is what I like to use at this time of year. In the summer, I switch to sort of a more minnow style bait. And then in the winter, I use that same thing, but a little bit smaller because the fish are a little bit more finicky. I haven't really found any concentrations of fish yet. I've kind of just been marking them randomly every once in a while. The one fish that I did catch was at that island over there. So I'm just gonna keep fishing there as well as other spots and hopefully 
turns around tomorrow or this evening. So this is the main spot I've been fishing here and all of a sudden the whole other end of the lake just decided to break off and now there's this massive probably 300 meter by 300 meter chunk of ice just floating into the lake and it's going to go all the way down there and it's going to crash into a bunch of docks probably and do some damage hopefully not too much damage hopefully it's thin enough that it'll break up a little bit before then but really interesting to watch this ice just break up as i'm fishing the lake Good morning, it is the next day now and along with the rain came a heavy southeast wind and it made the fishing pretty difficult early this morning. I managed to get two bites, no fish, no signs of life shallow. The two bites came out of 120 feet of water. So that just tells me that the fish really aren't that active right now. They need something to happen in order for them to move up a little shallower because they are known to do that in the spring. I'm so thankful for the one fish, it still gets me motivated to do some more fishing in the near future. Thanks for watching the video and we will see you soon.